Greetings from Cuyahoga Falls. My name is Jehovah. Welcome to War of Rights. It's not Saturday, and this is not the UEC. We've been invited to check out the North and South event on Wednesday night, and I brought a special friend along for the ride, Captain 8th Florida, Rich Hogg. Welcome to the channel, sir. Yeah, thanks for having me on, mate. Looking forward to seeing some different events from the UEC. It should be fun. Yeah, and we were just talking about before we got the uh, thing started that the 20th Georgia was here. Let me take a look at this. I thought it was a different 20th Georgia. No, nah, no, nah, that's the 20th Georgia we know and love. I know, no guesses for who I'm supporting in this event. <laughs> there he is, Colonel Jumbo. So I guess those guys are part of Tombs Brigade. I, didn't, I never really uh, put that together. They play a lot of events, I guess, so yeah. Good for them, man. They've been, hey, they've been large and in charge lately on the UEC. I know that. Yeah, that's for sure. Although they couldn't get it done this weekend against Anderson's division. That was a tough fight. Uh, was, yeah, it was Anderson's division for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looking for the Yankees. Here they are. How are they setting up over there, Joe? Because that'll dictate how this game goes. Yeah, it's funny because we've got some skirmishers way off on the outside edge and most of the union is on the other side of the map i went chasing ghosts here let's see what we got looks like they pushed up let's take a look here it seems like the rebs are pushing the left side okay. mainly from their perspective so the union right potentially. yeah it's pretty typical but what they're doing here in the middle the union has actually come up and they're attacking the fence and oh I, yeah, no, it's, this I can, is what you don't see on the UEC. Uh, yeah, and I can see the Confederates coming in at the fence line. Down. So here's the 8th Connecticut. I think we tried this one time uh, with the 8th Alabama and it didn't work very well, so we need to try it again. Well, and you can see that this was a planned fallback. They just wanted to put a little pressure on them, maybe get them on their heels early. And the boys have fallen back now. Yeah, you see, they probably had a plan for, like, which unit was going in first, which was second. Okay. This uh, sort of little attack at the start has kind of stopped that from happening. And the Connecticut's pulled back. First right Lieutenant side, Kevin somewhere. trying to get his plan working out. 39 minutes left in the match. Uh, the first master in a good position there. Well, the Confederate right is first lit up. Very loud sharpshooters, I think. Bitch. All right, Union pushing the Union right pretty hard. They're all the way up on the fence line here on the Union right. So an aggressive play by the Union here. Yeah, good play. Fifth New Hampshire right up close and personal. And it's, it's really pinned the Confederates on this snake rail fence. They haven't been able to move. Yeah, well, I think they should make sure to uh, push the right instead. But, uh, 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 we'll see what happens. And 7th South Carolina is here, along with 20th. They are part of uh, Tombs Brigade as well. You know those boys, they also fight in the UEC. Yeah, they're like direct. They're direct. Uh, looks like the Union is starting to fall back to the road. Standard position. Maryland is pushing up a little bit, though. Keep a look out to our right. Sure get hit. It's a slow fall back through the woods. They're not in a big hurry to get back to the point of contention, and we still have a large Yankee force on the far right. Not sure what they're doing up here. I think the majority of the Confederates are uh, starting to swing from the right side now, or the Union left. You can see it. I can see it in the distance, and they're going to hit the road. That is a standard tactic of attack on this map for the Confederates. Uh, that's Captain Carroll's favorite attack route, actually, on that right side. Come down that road behind the logs or sweep in behind the Union camp. That's a good avenue. But a lot of times I've noticed... The Union to react to this, though, I think. All right, and that's the Pennsylvania Army. These are all Pennsylvania volunteers. Meade's men, if you will. He had a bunch of Pennsylvania reserves. And they're that's really heads up play. I like this. I like the aggressive play. King Bobby getting his men right up there in the action. They're still moving toward the smoke. And they've got the bayonet. That's one group of uh, skirmishers down. And you heard him. Run, motherfucker. <laughs> this is They're going to isolate themselves if they keep going, though. 
Push out too far. They found the Pennsylvania in the ninth core. Fourth Jersey's here, doing their best. Yeah. Enemies to the direct south. Yeah, they pushed up a little bit too much. Iron Brigade is also here. There they come with the bayonet. Major Blackhawk. We got American flags laying in the dirt. Confederates laughing at dead Yankees. Captain Shiznit. Ooh, Corporal Loyalist taking down some Confederates. Yeah, what a killer. Well, the Confederates have blown their wad and they don't have the point of contention. Looks like the Yankees have held on. They've been they were pretty spread out. They uh, they've done a fair bit of damage, but there's still loads of you. Like and we got the Loads. 10th U.S. coming back to the fence. Captain Jack. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more shooting from the Confederates yeah. there. They had a good position, they had a good flank. I think they could have caught and pulled and uh, got some volleys from close up. Yeah, I got their dander up. They just uh, wanted to push in there. But why not? I mean, they've got the tickets to do so, so why not? Sure, and it puts that uh, defensive team really on that defensive because now they're just expecting that bayonet attack all day. Yeah, it's put back to the road, so... And I do hear gunfire in the distance. We do have Confederates facing off up here with Union on the Confederate left. And that's part of your Turner's 20th is over here. Jackal. Hi, guys. He's down. Uh, triple quick. Triple quick. Triple quick. First triple Lieutenant quick. Gomez of the 7th South Carolina moving over to the left. And they're on the move. 20th Georgia. Stick together. Stick together. Stick together. Stick together. I heard Trump Moe going in. Wipe him out. Yeah, some of you guys have very distinct voices, and it's easy to find you on the battlefield. Jumbo's one. You're, of course, one. Patton with the 20th Georgia. You can always find him. Oh, yeah. See, that was a good move. They did what they needed to do, and they fell back. Like, didn't expose themselves too much to the counter attack. That's exactly right. And, you know, for the uh, Tombs Brigade... What a uh, what an advantage! Not only fighting against the UEC on the weekends, but fighting these North American groups as well. They get to see all the tactics all the time. Oh yeah. So even more impressed with what the 20th George is doing. Brought a lot of guys for a Wednesday night too. Uh, we've got the reds on the point right now. Yes, actually. we the do. Reds have managed to get right on the point. They're capping. You can see that red marker. Going over quick. It's not a large rebel force. That's Tennessee all on their own. I think they're going to suffer in a little bit. <laughs> oh, Whiskey will hang on as long as he can. You heard him. Don't waste the bullets unless you have to. We got reinforcements on the way. It's amazing how close the CTR, 8th CTR, to the first Tennessee, and you can barely see them. They can barely see each other. And here they come. He can see him now. Lieutenant Kevin coming in with the pistol, a damn murderer. Now he's got the sword. He's already run out of bullets. Oh, and he's dead in one sp <laughs> private freeze. I think he went in and softened him up for the rest of his lads. He certainly did, because here comes the rest of the crew. Hey, there's a straggler. Oh, there's a straggler over there. Don't charge, don't charge. It's uh, pretty wild, though. You forget, like, uh, you know, when you're in this overhead perspective, like, how difficult it is to see this map. Yeah, absolutely impossible, and rounds are coming in. The Connecticut not having time to enjoy their victory. They better get the hell out of there. They're going to be killed. And that fire coming from the Pennsylvania Army. Reinforcements are here. Red oblique, march. Right. Yeah, this surprises me, Rich, and you can talk to this from a tactical perspective. Everybody yeah. always seems to attack through the woods instead of hitting this road and coming back around the backside. 
on the Confederate side. Uh, oh, yeah, you mean, like, right flank push for the Confederates. Yeah, because now we got a lot of Union, and they're just using this road for their interior lines. you got to disrupt that, or the yeah. defense is going to have a field day. Well, the last time we played this was on a Friday, I think, so you wouldn't have caught it. But, um, uh, you know, we thought the Union would use to the right flank push, because it's a tactic that we use quite a lot. Um, so we just pushed through the middle, um, stood where we could kind of cap the point. Uh, the Union stayed on the road, we managed to draw them out, and then we just got them on tickets, basically. Because you were able to draw them off the road? Yeah, exactly, because they had to come in to take the point back, right? So, yep. Well, we um, definitely have more Confederates piling up over here. So they look like they're trying, but the Union is going to be ready for it. Yeah, but yeah, I, I agree. Like, the right flank push is the best um, Confederate move on this map, but, like, sometimes you don't want to do it all the time, right? Like, um, it's you know, too easy to anticipate, yeah. Yeah. Well, it looks like they're doing it now. This is Blackhawk. 65th Illinois Iron Brigade. But the Yankees have eyeballs on them. I see uh, people getting shot already. Jack on the 20th uh, George are going for this uh, big right flank right now. So okay. see what they can get out of Get over here. My, my frame rate ain't worth a shit tonight. All right, so the Confederates are pushing. Let's get back over there, and the Union's coming up to meet them. They've got this tactic of coming out to slow them down toward the point of contention. It's like a war of attrition here. And would you know, it's the Eighth Connecticut hey, again. Hey, I saw a movement <laughs> more to the south southeast. Save the day. I saw rebel movement south southeast. Man, just you want to go get in. that flag, eh? He ran south. Ah, uh, no, don't, don't chase the flag down there. Oh, go get and it, you can hear the confusion among the men. They don't know where the enemy is, necessarily. Hard to see in these woods. Yeah, I'm just watching the 20th Georgia, man. They're uh, near the logs on the right flank. They're um, marching in double columns and double double ranks and nice, shooting man. volleys. Let's see. Looking down the road, you can see them. Yeah, they're going to get some kills on the Union here. Tombs oh, Brigade. Union's away. What the Reload. What the hell? And they've got help over here. On their right is the Iron Brigade. Yeah, strong position. Hey, keep that flag back. Back up that flag of the Union. Hey, yeah, kid, go back a little bit more, bud. Like, uh, I'll give you a little tip. Just come, like, all the way back here. This is kind of like the edge of the formation. Alrighty. Here, Get Jumbo me. helping out his men there. Has a good leader, Will. And Jackal doing a, a standard fire in advance. I tell you though, I mean, you know, we've got 10 minutes down, and um, Union, or well, both teams are still battle ready, like, um, you know. Rebs need to provoke some engagements and get some kills if they want to win this. We got some Union over here, oh, way up on the top of the map. Back. And that's your first Virginia. We know these boys as well, Major Preacher. Actually, up and over rear. And they are causing a little bit of havoc on the Union right. Not too much damage at this point. Yes, they definitely all right, and the Union is trying to answer this, but we got Confederates coming through the woods as well. It's not just that right flank attack. We've got skirmishers coming through, and you hear the Rebel yell. Yeah, that's what they needed. <clears throat> but as the attacker, they have more tickets. What I'd like to see is how long does it take the Yankees to answer now? Yeah. It's and a big melee going off in the middle, yeah. Yeah, and uh, it looks like attack from 10th US. the Confederate right flank, not in any big hurry, but the 10th US sweeping through. And there's the Huzzah. All right, more Union coming this way. Ninth Corps. And they're going back toward the point of contention. 
So Union doing a pretty good job here. No serious threats to the road yet. We still have the 20th and the boys down here. Yeah, both teams engaged, so they're pretty close on team. Absolutely, and 20th Georgia not getting in a big hurry to get down this road. They're just creeping up, doing some volleys. Well, they figure also, if you shoot straight down the road, you're going to hit something. Those logs might be in the way. Up the road. Up the road, right there, boys. Fire! Reload. Yeah, if you want an open field of fire, that road's your best bet. Oh, 100%, yeah. Break them, pull it back. Excuse me. Oh, you know what they're fucking doing? Dress it. Oh, and they can just push all the way up there. Like, there's nothing to do. Yeah, and of course, we know that because we have the eye in the sky. Jumbo and the boys, they can only see the shadows off in the distance through the smoke. It's very confusing, especially in all these trees. Yeah, Union uniforms are an advantage on these maps with the inside dark. Jumbo and I, Jumbo and I. No, I'm not. Maybe not these uh, pajamas with the turbans, but, uh, you know, the ones are. The old pajama brigade. Uh, the Union kind of have a little bit of a disadvantage, and it must be something on this map, though, because, um, well, it's sort of an advantage and a disadvantage, because they only have three flags, right? Because we've got a special unit with uh, carbines. So. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so the carbine gives you the advantage, but the lack of flag gives you a disadvantage. I like how they did that. That's a nice yeah. balance. Yeah, yeah. Well, and you can see Iron Brigade has swung all the way around. They're technically behind uh, the We're union here. But their position is not a secret. They have been firing the whole time, and they're looking at the Ninth Corps, trying to block them before they get to the road. very lonely. I'm interested to see where the Union position themselves when they come up. Alright, they heard that the Iron Brigade's out there because they're moving that way. 8th Connecticut going out to meet the Iron Brigade. Let's see how this turns out. Or they might... Oh, he's going back toward the road now. Are they ratioing? So definitely some confusion. They're looking for the enemy. They can't find them. <laughs> Gotta love that. All right, more Confederates creeping up here. They're very aggressive. Diamondbacks. First Louisiana. I think the, uh, is that the 20th Georgia coming in down the uh, road? They are indeed. Here they are walking that way. Jackal out front. They finally decide, and they're going right past the logs. They want to get right up close and personal to the point of contention. Ooh, Jackal goes down. And here they are. 10th U.S. versus 20th Georgia. Numbers are reduced. Leadership dead. Flagman down. 20th Georgia in a lot of trouble here. Yeah, they're not got the numbers. Got the flag. Run. All back to, all all right. back to the logs. Some more Confederates, but they are falling back as well. So once the 20th Georgia blew down, it... they got to keep going. 10th U.S. is coming. Oh, and here come the 8th Connecticut as well. The skirmishers are here, but the Louisiana, they don't have the numbers. And Weston's trying to get away with that flag. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Uh, they didn't take him alive. No, he got that. He got out that one smart-ass remark before they killed him. That's always a score for me. No. All right, and they're trying to regroup here. You got 10th U.S. and the 8th uh, Connecticut. Yeah, the rest of the rebels have taken advantage of uh, the confusion and got up on the point. Absolutely, a strong push at the fence. And you see a lot of bayonet work happening here. Iron Brigade in the middle of it. Blackhawk using the pistol. They don't mess around, do they? They just go straight in with the band. Well, they swung all the way around, and whenever that uh, the tenth went after the twentieth, they used that to uh, open up the front. And the tenth U.S. coming in with the bayonet, not taking any shit. Look at this. 
Wow. Well, more Confederates. Can the 10th do it a third time? The Pennsylvania oh, Army moving in. Oh, Everyone's got a piece of this. And the 10th U.S. holding the line one more time. Head his ass, Pepper. Hell yeah. But a lot of Confederates this time. Fuck yeah, Pep. Fuck yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I think the Confederates might just get this. But their uh, Union spawn is quite close. So. Yeah, and I don't know. They're just kind of hanging out behind the fence. They, they're not jumping over and destroying them. Doing it with the musket instead. They picked that red flag up. So King Bobby, Sergeant, moved his men up into position. Oh, they're about to get flanked here. See that flag coming in the Confederate flag on the ground. That's the first mass. Small unit. Let's see if they can do it. So the Union throwing the kitchen sink at the Confederates. And you can see that point of contention timer is ticking away from them. Union starting to take a little bit of an advantage. Hopefully they can get some of the small Union squad on the point right now. You know? Yep. But the 10th U.S., man, pretty tough. Took out a lot of guys. You can oh, see now. Only three, three reps left. Yeah. You can see now the Union taking losses. Not looking good for the boys in blue. Yeah, that's the problem with that big engagement is that they had to expend a lot of tickets to deal with all that problems and all those melees and stuff. And we're back toward the spawn point. You see 10th U.S. already out, ready to go. Now, this is a different 10th U.S. than we're used to seeing. Remember the 10th U.S. that used to fight in the UEC? It's quiet. Quite um, oh, yeah, yeah, I do now. Yeah, yeah. Machado, I think. Yeah, we're live up there. Were they the cheese heads or something? I can't remember. There are reps. Not very quickly. Any. Captain, oh, comes more than like Captain, Captain Jack trying lines, to get back sure. to the point of contention as quickly as he can without getting uh, ambushed by the enemy. It's like Preacher's Boy still out here in the woods. No, it was 5th New Hampshire. And Confederates pushing up strong. They have a really spread out divided front, which is interesting. Yeah, it's quite a big server event today. players. They have to spread out there. Hey, Jackal. Yeah. Well, the 20th Georgia's here in formation, ready to move in. But they're losing time because the Union, with every second, is reinforcing that point of contention. Yeah, they've got a lot of guys over here now. They definitely need some support. And they don't have their flags. All the Confederate flags laying in the dirt, is, at least it looks that way. The Union massing up around the logs. They can see the Confederates' shadows through the trees, and they're trying to throw some lead at them before they can get too close. <clears throat> oh, got some spam in the chat. Want to become famous? Buy followers? No, I don't. Obviously, you don't watch this channel. You can become famous, though, Joe. Oh, yeah. I'm already famous. A lot of Yankees here, man. <clears throat> these, move, these units, they do move quickly, though, so it must be very difficult, especially in the woods, to try and flank them and get anything going when they move so quickly. Yeah, and hard to flank a unit that's not necessarily in a line. Hey boys, crouch down, crouch down. Uh, not in one place, yeah, yeah, for long. Oh, I think it was in melee mode, so I unmeleed it went back. Yeah. But these little groups, they're sending them out like little islands, and uh, they're just waiting for an enemy to get close enough to shoot at. Ninth Corps well out in advance of the Union line, and the Confederates looks like moving around to the right one more time. Georgia. They're all waiting. Looks like they're waiting for a coordinated attack. It's uh, 20th Georgia on the right now, though, yeah. Yeah, they are, and then 1st Tennessee's moved up. There's Colonel Whiskey. They are under fire. 
scrimmage formation, boys. Spread out. We have like five people here. So the Diamondbacks trying to survive. They're out by the big uh, fallen tree. All right, and the 20th is on the move. And they're right on the flank of the 9th Corps, if they know it. But he's charging right into the back of the 1st Cav. Or 1st Virginia, sorry. So, Preacher and the boys getting caught up by a large unit. And the Iron Brigade's here as well. Uh, yeah, I think um, the rebels might be able to catch something going on the right flank. That well, looks pretty solid. I tell you right now, they got men on the point of contention. It's part of the 20th Georgia. The main group got fucked up. Their artillery, the King's Battery. They're on the point, and they are capturing it right now. So the Yankees better get involved in this battle quick. See him on the fence line. Last him. Get him ten. Standard Union defense here. Hey, they're they're capping oh, again. This is perfect. Let them cap. Yo, 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 yo. You heard him. They want to let them cap. Yeah, they want to get the tickets back. But there is some good positions where the reps can hide out in the woods. There, like you know, they're going to have to spend some tickets to get it back. You know. Well, there you have it. Counterattack. The main clock has stopped, and the counter clock is at 6:47. Yeah, not long as well. Keep, it up. Keep up the fire, boys. So you got what you wanted there, Yankees. Can you take it back? After low, dress right. Right, dress it right once loaded. Yeah. They need to get organized just quickly with the whole team the and just uh, <laughs> smash it onto the point. Yeah, it looks like Ninth Corps is the only one to move so far, and they're swinging around to the right. It's okay. I told you I'll give you permission to die. Take aim southwest. Take aim southwest. Rise up. Right face the rise. Right face. Go. All right. Fire. At the knee. At the knee. At the knee. Reload. At the knee. Reload. At the knee. Hello, Fifth New Hampshire. Hello. Can't see shit with so, this. Ninth Corps taking some uh, cover on the right flank, or the left flank of the Confederates. What's, uh, what's the Confederate positions looking like? Is it looking like a good defensive uh, position over there? Well, it's funny because they're kind of grouped up in the middle. They've got a small force in the middle. Yeah. And they've got guys just scattered out everywhere. I, I, I wouldn't say... It's a, a strong defense. It's more like a catcher defense, you know? Like when they get it, they can move back and, and help each other, support each other, possibly. Yeah. Well, it looks like the Union are capping it. I don't know how. Well, they got us. The Confederates had a small force here, and they've pulled back just a bit. So Union just putting a lot of numbers there. It looks like Confederates are matching them now. And if the Union doesn't get determined now, they're going to be looking at five minutes before the battle is over. We got movement over here and a firefight. It looks like King's able to pull it out. Did King's just save the day, boys? Yeah, you were fine. I just needed to move behind you. All good. Canada's front rank. Yeah, the, the, the rank. time is uh, is not worth it. Four thirty. They've got to make a move at some point. We got Confederates all the way in behind the Union now. They've swung First all the way here in a great position right now. Well, you hear on both sides is taking hard. losses. Union better not wait too long. They'll get to go to breaking sixty. Uh, the uh, Pennsylvania Army all the way in behind the Union now, but they are not moving yet. I think for the Union okay. tickets at this point don't really matter. They're just going at this point back, no matter how they do it. I agree, and I'm not sure why they're taking so long to do it. it looks like they're more concerned with the guys in the woods here. Hey, you yeah. Oh shit. The longer the way, the more they're giving the uh, rebels the chance to uh, stack up on this point here. 
Absolutely, and they certainly don't want to go to a breaking situation. Although if they do, they get their tickets back, they can come out of it. Okay, their tickets back. Yeah, they don't need to worry about tickets right now. Yeah. They just need to get that point of contention back. Three minutes, 28 uh, no, seconds left. Yeah, we were thinking the same thing. Alright, All right, they're trying to coordinate an attack here. They've got rebels in their back, though, uh, in the east. Like, so okay. Well, and you look at these woods, man, and I'm telling you, all I see are Confederates. It's just a long line of them strung out everywhere. <laughs> Alright, here they go. Said they're not charging, but we got the ninth and uh, ninth core and the first mass coming out toward the smoke. First time seeing good position. Got a lot of guys here. Yep, first cap, first uh, Louisiana's here. Is George just had the fucking hell of a Northeast, northeast, defense, guys. Be ready to melee. Be ready. Northeast, gentlemen, independent fire. Nice counter attack. Hold your position. And they're just holding the old school pub way. 20th George is over here on the left. They, they're holding off the ninth core. Charge, charge. Here we go, counter charge. Fuck you. Going in, we're going in, we're going in. Go, All right, there's a whole, uh, whole yeah, bunch of Tennessee out here. And it is just a bloodbath in the middle of the field. 149 left, and I don't know if the Union's got it in them. That was a fucking kamikaze move by them. Why in the fuck? Hey, left side, north. I think they waited too long to try to get that thing. Yeah, but they've still got Union on the road that needs to get it now, really. Yeah, they're spread out and they're not really able to support each other as well. Here they come. Now, here's a large group. 8th Connecticut on the way. You heard him. It's a fire in charge. We'll go with them. Do they have the men to carry? You can see that red line bleeding away. Press T. Sorry, my bad. My bad. My bad. All done. All done. Confederate flag laying in the dirt. The Union's done it. Will there be a counterattack? Back to the point and get your lungs. Ten. Ten. Now this will make the last 15 minutes interesting because. Uh, you know, will they be able to get the Union down to breaking now if they get a lot of tickets back? Behind, behind, behind. You know, the Pennsylvania Army has not let it be decided yet. But a lot of Union here. We got the whole damn Yankee There's Army about here. about 100 Yankees here, yeah. First mass, first mass, throw it up, rally up, rally up. And the Union is now breaking, but they'll get that back if they can kill this counterattack. It's overtime. Man, they... <laughs> Boy, they waited too long, but uh, right now it looks like it's going to pay off. Yeah, they'll get it back. I mean, it's a good sign that for the Rebels that they did go to breaking. It's, um, you know, they can be confident that they're not too far away, even with the tickets they get back from this. Yeah, as a matter of fact, they might be able to kill enough of them to get them back into breaking before they take the point of contention, and that could be disaster for the Union. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that clock's not going down while this overtime's going. Jay, so 20th George is back. Works. Yeah, sorry to interrupt, uh, but the 20th Georgia is not giving up on this. They're coming back in. Seems onesie twosie to me. There it is. Great job by the Union there. I didn't think they had it in them. And the Confederates are still pushing, and they're pushing hard. Yeah, and they've come up when the Union's kind of disorganized right now. They're all getting back into their uh, units and stuff like that. Well, they were all slapping ass and high-fiving. 
That one was jumbled up, yeah. And they've kind of got themselves out in the open here, setting duck for the Confederates in the woods. Yeah, I don't know where our guys are. Can you ask here to the flag? I don't know where they are. Can you ask to the flag? Can you ask to the flag? I'm spitting it. I see 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 it. Oh, yeah, they're over there. Captain Sauce Boss. Down Interesting here. name. Down here. Yeah. I like it. Come, come, come to the left on the fence. Get down, press me. All right, so it looks like the Confederates have slowed their roll a little bit. And they're going to regroup before they can come in with a big attack. Yeah, the Union's organized. They've got themselves to, uh, sorted, so. Good fucking God. What is this is why on? I don't like him being. He's not, I he's, this, this like is his last you. time, don't worry. Oh my god, okay. Fucker, they're over here, they gotta be over here. The guy's looking for their units, man, it's so easy to get separated in these woods. What? Oh yeah, I see the flag southwest too. Okay, it's southwest. pretty far. It's South, probably like 200 meters. <clears throat> well, it looks like Confederates swinging around again to the right, but also coming down through the center. It seems like they have just uh, are allowing their individual units to play as individual units and are making their own decisions. Doesn't seem like a, uh, a unified front. Yeah, there's a bit of communication between them. Neil, Neil, Neil. Out, ah, you ramble scum! Play <laughs> wrong, thief. So the Diamondbacks back into the position, Daddy. Daddy. earlier held by the Kings. They can see their flag laying in the mud right in front of the Union line. It's going to take balls to go get that one. As you can see, the uh, Union line not 20 yards away from it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tens US are uh, a bit in the open though, so I think they're going to suffer a little bit. Yeah, and right now is not a time you want to be losing tickets. Look at this, though. Confederates massing enough men on or near the point of contention. They're starting to cap again. Yeah. And if the Union is forced to attack, that's going to put them in breaking pretty quick. I don't think the Revs are going to cap, though. I think uh, they'll pull off before they cap it. They want to get them to uh, breaking this time. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they want to cap. They might actually do it accidentally. Looks like the Confederates went to breaking. Yeah, they went to break in the app, so they and need to be careful. They had to be really careful, but the Union just went to breaking as well, so all tied up. Now is money time. 12 minutes is a long time <laughs> when you're breaking. It really is, but all they got to do is take this point of contention away from the Yankees, and they will win the match. Can't hang out with you if you play music, guys. Sorry. You can hear the boys, they're excited. Seeing shadows everywhere, looking like Yankees. We got a lot of Confederates here. <laughs> and they're going to cap the point without having to stab a single Yankee, it looks like. Surely the Union will put some forces toward the point of contention. They need to get in, yeah, but they're just, uh, there's just not enough guys near the point. They've got a lot of guys on the left. Jack fire, guys. Keep it Dang up. it. Keep up your fire. And Captain Jack trying to do all he can, but he just doesn't have the manpower, and he's watching the match bleed away from him right in front of his eyes. We've got about three Union units on the left flank uh, that don't know what's going on, I don't think. Well, they're coming in now. They're coming in now. They better. <clears throat> it's going to be a close call. Here they come. I don't think the Rebels are going to see it. So. Well, are they going to just pour men on, or are they going to try to uh, run into the buzzsaw here? It's going to be dangerous if they get their dander up. Yeah. But they're going to have to do something. Here you go, the charge oh, command. Oh, yeah. Here they come. 
Don't chase him, don't chase him. Get him off the point. Get him off the point. This, um, this the angle position that the Rebels have is really good, though. They're so close together, like... They're gonna repel everything. Yeah, you make that L shape, you can just swing the door open and closed in either direction. And here it goes, that clock is still ticking Confederate. This could be an early victory. Oh, look at the ragdoll. <laughs> oh man, that Confederate, it's starting to tip the other way toward the Union, here come the 10th. They're and still the standing jersey. strong though, just about. I think they've got it just about. Man, Confederates trying to hold on here. Union pouring the whole damn army into them. Fuck. All right, they they're pushing toward the point. You heard them. Charge them off. Charge them off. Let's go, everyone, everyone. Yeah, they got. They want to put the nail in the coffin. A lot of Yankees here, though. Yeah, the fourth New Jersey looking quite quite big. Get the captain! Get the captain! Mixed three bunches, sir. Right. Got his ass. And that guy right ahead, right ahead, right ahead. Oh my God! How close is this? Right. <laughs> that red line starting to bleed away. Here come more Confederates. Iron Brigade. Can they do the it this time? Union reinforcements are coming in now. <laughs> A ton of them. Someone's playing uh, about crowd freedom. Well, and you've got first mass back here. The Union have got it. Yeah. Wow, what an incredible stand by the Union. They've got to stand now. They're on last stand. Absolutely, and the Confederates are breaking. Confederates still have an advantage even this late in the match. Final push, Jesus. So this has gone down to three minutes now. Three minutes and everybody's even. You can't ask for much better than this. I'll be really impressed if the Union win this. Well, third time's a charm. I uh, already counted them out twice. And the Iron Brigade 20 is already here. Tennessee, right here, right here, Tennessee. Oh. Yeah, the Union's all on the point right now, so they're going to be tough to break down. In two minutes, they're going to be tough to break down. Yeah, it's going to take a unified force to wedge in there and just kill them all. But so far, the Union has... Yeah, so far, the Union's had the advantage in that kind of a matchup. Yeah, we're getting to work here. Yeah, sure. What's that violent up here? What? I just keep thinking they're not going to support each other, and they eventually do. Even though it takes them a long time, they get there, and they've done it. So. I think I'm correct. Um, the Union being on last stand means uh, anyone who dies can't respawn. <clears throat> yep, so the Confederates are going to try to pick off as many as they can. But here they come again. Confederates breaking in on the Union right. 20th Georgia. And he dodges, caught him on the flank. Caught him hard on the flank, and Jackal and Jumbo are pushing in. But it's the whole Union Army. They're going to have to have the whole Confederate Army. Here come the Pennsylvania Army. And the Diamondbacks, first Tennessee. But the Union man. I agree with you. I think that's what it's going to take. But at this point, they are killing a lot of Union, and they don't get them back. 1.30 left in the match. They've got to do it now. It's going to be close. All right, you can see the flags waving in the distance. Here they come. Like a boogeyman in the dark, the Confederate Army coming through the woods. Shoot him, shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. They're in front of us. Here they come, yeah. We'll watch the melee. Here they come. Be bloody. <laughs> Led by the Iron Brigade. 
and the Pennsylvania Army. Yeah, these Yankees aren't going to have enough men. It really comes down to will they have enough time on the clock to do it. Yeah. I think they might. Well, they're, they're, lo they're losing the point now, so it doesn't matter how long they've got. Yeah. It's over. Did they give it to the Confederates? Yep, they, they did. They sure yeah. did. Confederate victory. I think on balance, I expected the Rebs to win. Uh, but I thought the Union did really good uh, getting it down to that. Um, some good counterattacks towards the end there. Yeah, I tell you, they did a damn fine job defending that position. Yeah, they really did. This surprised me. Yeah, and what a hell of a match. Yeah, it was a great match. A fun fun uh, map to watch as well. From the West Woods.